Thank you for coming back to my channel for your stimulus check and stimulus package update. Please subscribe to my channel. Please leave your thumbs up and please leave your comments. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for all the support that you give me on this channel. I really do appreciate you for that. Thank you so much. Bitcoin, WhatsApp, any type of cryptocurrency that you may see in my comment section with my picture and a variation of my name, please know that that is not me. That is a scammer. Please do not fall for that garbage. If you didn't see this morning's video, I urge you please go back and watch it. Got a lot of good information in there for you and it would help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much. Okay, let's get into this. Okay, y'all remember a few days ago, I broke down for you what they're spending all of this money on, what they want to spend this money on. I told you about a new category that's in this bill and it's got 90 mil billion dollars in it set aside for other that's all they say about this category is other you can only imagine what that is well now we know that some of that money set aside is for Nancy Pelosi's park 200 million dollars of it for Nancy Pelosi's park so if that much is going for Nancy Pelosi's park out of that 90 billion dollars what is the rest of it going for God only knows and this is our tax money hard at work for us this is supposed to be for the American people how is a park in her hometown with her name on it going to benefit the American people the Federal Reserve has decided to keep printing money at the pace that they are for a little while longer until inflation improves. Printing all this money is why we have inflation. And they're saying they're going to keep printing until inflation improves. So it's nice to know that the federal government says it's okay for things to keep going up in price and the hell with the American people that's barely getting by they think oh well the American people will get by until it all improves that's really great thinking on their part okay a check is coming out in January for three thousand six hundred dollars if you qualify for this check it is the child tax credit everyone don't qualify for this you have to have kids uh, as your dependent in order to get this check if you have two kids you will you're getting right now six hundred dollars a month for them well that's just half of the benefit because in January you will be getting a lump sum payment of thirty six hundred dollars the first six months comes out in small monthly payments, $600, $300 for the kids. But if you got two, it's $600. And I'm figuring this on two kids. So the first six months, you get half of it in payments. And then in January, you get the second half in a lump sum. So six months and then six months in a lump sum, that would be $3,600 to a lot of people. That will help a lot of people with families. Now I just hope, and I'm not degrudging them a bit for that because it's their money and they need it. So I say good for them. But on that same token, I just hope they can get some help for the elderly, the disabled, and the people with low and no income. These are the people that our government has forgotten about many times over. But I can promise you one thing. I will never forget about you. And to the young people out there that just looks away every time these older Americans, disabled Americans, people on low and no income, every time they get shafted and the young people just looks away, I want you to remember, you will be older you will be disabled, you will be low income, you will be no income one day. I hope you're not low or no income, but chances are you will be. 
Well, at that time, our government will also say, the hell with you. I want you to remember that. Every time you look away when these people that need the help don't get it. I want to say one more time, thank you so much for all the support that you give me on this channel, allowing me to do this. Thank you so much. Okay, next week, Kamala Harris is going to Paris to do na national relations work to repair the relationship with France and to work on the green energy policies and so she won't have to work on the southern border problems. Joe Biden appointed her as the border czar and so far she has done absolutely nothing in that capacity. Joe Biden says that he believes that she is the right person to send to do this job over in Europe. But y'all don't forget, Joe Biden also thought she was the right person to appoint as the border czar as well. I also thought that when you had a special, very important job to do, you would always send your very best. Well, if Harris is our best, if this clown is our best, all I can say is, God, please help us. Okay, I will ask you, how do you feel about the job that Harris is doing for the American people? How do you feel she rates as a vice president? How do you feel that she is doing on the southern border? Please let me know in the comments your thoughts on Vice President Harris. Y'all, we have to put out this dumpster fire in Washington, D.C. We have to take our country back and put it back on the right track. We have to restore the normal. We have to get people back to good paying jobs. We have to stop all this crazy out of control spending from our government. Y'all, the only way we can do this is to make our vote and our voices be heard. Make our voice and our vote count. The only way we can do this is we have to write letters. And we can't be nice. We can't play nice in these letters. We have to let them know what's what, how we feel and what we expect. And what will happen if we don't get what we expect. We also have to make these phone calls and the same thing on the phone calls. We can't be nice. The days of playing nice is over. We have to vote these brain dead politicians out of office in the midterm elections and in the 2024 elections. We have to get them out of office. Now, some people may say that, well, this, this politician He's in my town, and he's not doing a bad job. Well, if the world has not heard his name, he's doing a bad job because he's not speaking up for the American people. If you sit back on the sidelines and allow these things to happen, that's the same as them doing these bad things. So, yes, they all have to go. If we don't get out and vote, if we don't write letters, if we don't make these phone calls, how can we complain when we don't get the things that we need? We can't complain. We have no room to complain. All we can do is bend over and take what they want to give us. And as always, it's going to be the shaft. Y'all, there's a crazy world we live in right now, but we can make it better. We can turn it around to what it once was. But we have to make our voice count. we got to make our vote count. And to sit back and say you're not going to vote because they're all crooks, that is the wrong thing to do. You have to vote. It's imperative that you do vote. Y'all, if you want your comments put over on the We the People website, please start it by saying We the People. 
we will take it over there for you. Also, please check out the We The People website. Please check out the blog section of that website. Also, please check out the We The People Facebook group. Both links are in the description box below this video. Keep your faith in Jesus Christ. He will get us through this stuff. And say a prayer for our world. Say a prayer for our country. Say a prayer for our leaders, even though they're not leading anything. Prayer can and will turn that around. Also, say a prayer for everyone around the world that's hurting through COVID, financial hardship, or any other affliction. And just know I love you all. Until next time, ciao.